50 people were evacuated from a Nashua nursing home in the midst of an early morning fire. Tonight, everyone is safe, and we're learning about some of the heroic actions of staff members at the Corville at Nashua. We're just blessed. Even after a small fire and water damage, that's the feeling at the Corville at Nashua. People just grateful tragedy was averted overnight. Calls for a fire coming in just before 2 this morning. We found a smoke condition and a fire in one of the rooms, one of the patient rooms. Uh, a employee of the facility had rescued two individuals out of that room. Tonight, those employees regarded as heroes for their quick action. They were two maintenance men or housekeeping guys who were here on a special project. They just saw the smoke, ran to the room, got the residents, two gentlemen out of the room. It, it just worked perfectly. Louie Ann Rogers, president and CEO of Corville Company, says fire drills and extensive training paid off in this case. Many of the people living here are confined to beds, forcing staff to roll those beds and wheelchairs out of the facility during the evacuation. Many of the evacuees over the age of 80. My staff is the best staff on the planet. Um, they did everything right. Damage isn't visible from outside. Deputy Fire Chief Carl Gerhard says that's because automatic sprinklers did their job. Small fire, but only because of automatic sprinklers. The sprinklers contain the fire long enough for the fire department to get there and then fully extinguish the fire. The affected patients are now in the care of nearby facilities, Greenbrier and Ainsley Place. One of the patients inside the room where the fire started was taken to the hospital as a precaution, but he is expected to be okay. We're so happy that we're in this community with such great folks. And those 50 people are expected to be displaced for about four days. Meantime, the cause of this fire is still under investigation tonight.